Hello and welcome to the Buddha Brunch. My name is Ned. Today on the Buddha Brunch, we will be talking about the dark side, the shadow. Today I have a guest who's going to talk about how to do it through art and creativity, to share some of her story about that, and how you don't necessarily need to be an incredibly talented artist to do so. She is an incredibly talented artist, Stephanie Gray. Steph Gray Art. Dot com, also, creativenectarstudio.com. She is the co-owner and founder of Creative Nectar Studio with Jenny Hahn, who's been a guest on this show before. She is a writer, an artist, of course. You can see her blogs at stephgrayart.com, also at Rebel Society, an online magazine. Stephanie Gray, thank you so much for being on the show. Ah, oh, Ned, thank you for having me. It's an honor. We're going to talk a lot about art and some of that, as I said, the shadow that that fun stuff today, yeah. if, if you're down with that. I am so down with that, yeah. And it doesn't mean it's not going to be fun. Absolutely. Sometimes the shadow can be really, really fun and joyful. Wow. And we're going to get into all that. Let me get some of your background, though. When did you discover you are an artist? Or perhaps I should say, when did you discover you like painting and other forms of art? Probably because I, when I went through high school and stuff, and even junior high, I was definitely a drama geek and I sang and stuff. So, I mean, I was always into that, but I never got into visual art until I was invited to go to a process painting workshop with Sarah Oblinger. And that has been 20 years ago. That was 1996. It was a three-day workshop and I was hooked. I, that's all I can say. I mean, I didn't really even know how to hold the paintbrush or anything like that. But there was just something about being in community, painting with people, and it was a way to get in touch with what I was feeling right then. So very early on, the art form and using it as a therapeutic process or a spiritual psychological process, those were connected very early on for you. Absolutely. Yeah, as far as the visual stuff goes, it's always been sort of a spiritual slash self-discovery with some creativity in it. You know, it's I, I mean, I love working with color and the times when I can be with myself in the paintbrush. And it's always interesting to see what unfolds in front of me. But for me, it's sort of it developed from the inside out. So any sort of like talent or artistry or anything that I have has been learned through the you know, just through that process. Now, for people who aren't familiar with the term, what is just the nuts and bolts? What is process painting? Process painting or process art is basically creating from the inside out. So you're not being told how to create, what to create. Usually it's done in silence. When you're in community working with someone, there's no commenting. So it becomes this really safe and sacred container in which to create. It asks you to tap into your heart space and really just create from that space and not get too involved with what it means or um, creating a pretty picture. Now you've been doing it for your own self, for your own development. And for how long have you also been teaching classes or, or running workshops in it? Facilitating seven years. Fantastic. Yeah. So people come in, and again, they don't necessarily need to be classically trained. It's not about the output. Would you say it's about getting in touch with your your feelings? Yeah, you definitely don't have to have any art experience whatsoever. That's how I came in, you know, completely novice. And it is more about getting in touch with where you are right in the moment, feeling-wise, and really just going from there and learning to sort of ride the current of what's happening. You do that with paint and paper and color. It's really a way to check in with yourself, with your body, to see how you're doing. And it's it's a very fun way, for me at least, to work with present moment awareness. Some people might imagine that means we're going to delve into our psyche and stir up, you know, hidden memories, things that we've been blocking. It might be specific like that, or it might be kind of abstract and just start to come through in, in colors and shapes and things. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's especially the first few times you do it, um, it is going to be more of a, that sort of freedom, that creative freedom that you can get from it. The expansive sort of like, oh, wow, I'm not being told what to do or how to do it. Nobody's going to judge me. I can just play. And it's very, very childlike. It can be. 
it, because you're you're being given permission to do whatever. The the more the deeper stuff happens as you continue on. It's it's a practice just like anything else. And so that stuff does unfold sometimes. What I found, you're never given too much via the process. So if something does come up or occur that's fairly intense, it's such a gradual unfolding that you're ready for it. I feel like that's why I've been able to connect so much to it is because it is so gradual and it is a just a beautiful unwinding. Wow. And you have had some healing challenges, if you'd like to share about that. Yeah, for about six years, I've been dealing with some chronic pain. It is mostly in my spine and neck, and it just is part of who I am at the moment. But it certainly doesn't stop me from doing things. I Basically, working in this way with pain is actually pretty amazing because I'm not going to say that it's going to stop your pain, but for me, it allows me some space around it. So I'm able to paint with it and get a little bit of perspective, if you will. So I'm not always just thinking about it and dwelling on it. It's like, okay, well, this is here. We're doing a dance together. And I'm also painting and I'm communicating. Nice. We're doing a dance together. That's another way to say I'm not resisting it, pushing it away. I'm not pretending it's not there and I'm not allowing it to control me. Exactly. Yep, well put. And that's a common theme. A lot of the guests I have on the show, Buddha Brunch, that is such a powerful message. Perhaps we've been trying to pretend that those aspects of ourselves aren't there for so long that now this is catching on. Yeah, I, I really hope so. I feel that it probably is. I feel like the ability to deny things isn't as easy as it used to be. And I think that it's just possibly collectively time for us all to sort of take a deeper look at things and realize that we don't have to necessarily get rid of anything it's more of a alchemy it's a it's a transformation and that's what will bring us into our strength and our wholeness we can be as crooked or broken if you you know that I put in quotations because I felt my strongest sometimes when I'm experiencing the most pain and anything else as far as shadow work and all of that too it can make us stronger so you have been doing this a while you have gone around the process art bush a time or two and yet you're still doing it right yeah yeah so is there a sense of we'll never be done with it for me, probably not because it is such a tool to just for my living, for my daily life. This is part of my meditation. It is part of my spiritual practice. It is my knowing myself and it's my play. It's all of that. And so for me, it's it will probably never leave. No, I mean, it may change focus a little bit. For instance, I don't paint as much as I used to because I'm now working in altered books, but it's the same process. The end game is always this creative self-discovery, and I feel like the self-discovery thing is, is an unfolding, and it's there's a lot to learn. For someone who someone who's not close enough to come to one of your classes, mm. what would you recommend they do if they want to try this sort of process? Well, there's a couple of things. My business partner, Jenny Han, does take a lot of the process painting stuff on the road. And then we have uh, something on the website called a one-on-one -on -one session. We have different facilitators that work in different modalities available to work with you either over the phone or on Skype. I work on Skype. I've worked with people from all over, even somebody I just finished sessions with in London. I would say just hit the website because there's a whole bunch of options. There's an email correspondence option. It's pretty cool. CreativeNectarStudio.com. Yep. Excellent. Are you ever surprised by the participants in your workshop? and classes, what they do, what comes out of them. I am always surprised by the ability that we all have that we don't believe that we have. I think people can get really freaked out, myself included, with a white piece of paper and not being told what to do, not being fed instructions. To see people take those first marks and then really sort of dive in just moving and playing is incredible to start off the workshop with blank sheets of paper and then when we finish and we gather back and we just see 
this color and this vibrancy on the page. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm always blown away. Can we take a peek at what's behind your right shoulder there? That's my latest process painting. There's always a little bit of my pain that shows up because inevitably one day or two I'll be painting through the pain. But it's also um, sort of me and how I'm dealing with society and life and sort of the stuff that's going on and finding my balance in that and standing my own in my own power even when it feels really rocky and shaky out there. Wow. So that is an example of what might come through for you. And of course, it will look very different for each and every person. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Stephanie, anything else that comes to mind or that is upon your heart right now? Yeah, I would just say that if anything in this interview has touched you in that heart space and got your interest peaked, I would just really encourage you to take a look at the website. We do a lot of blogging and from our hearts and really just check that out. Check out the online options. There are many. I am all always open to emails. There's a contact us button and the email right from the website. I would just love to hear from people, whatever the circumstance may be, if you're going through chronic pain or you have anxiety or just whatever the situation is. I just want people to know they're not alone. There are people here and I would love to work with folks. Beautiful. So if they are not ready to come to a a physical group, they can remain anonymous and simply connect with you one-on-one. Absolutely. Either in an email or, you know, we can get daring and do some Skype because that's really fun too. Great. So that website, creativenectarstudio.com. There's also Steph Gray Art. Yep. Steph Gray Art. A lot of blogs, a lot of great stuff there. Is anything coming up that you wanted to talk about? Only that we have an ongoing online email correspondence. You can sign up at the beginning of each month. It's basically a correspondence between myself and my good friend and teacher, Sarah Oblinger. It's just the two of us going back and forth, emailing each other about how we are and how the process works in us. You get the opportunity to sort of be a voyeur in that, but also to participate. And you can email us and we give you prompts to work with and encouragement. I don't know. It's just fun. Fantastic. And you have recently started a Patreon page. Viewers and supporters of Buddha Brunch are familiar with that. It's a great way to help artists. You can co-create with us on an ongoing basis. And your Patreon is patreon.com slash stephcreating. Yes. Yes, exactly. Check it out. Make a contribution there. Fantastic stuff. And my Patreon is patreon.com slash Ned Kelly. Love and appreciate all of those who are wanting to co-create and support me and the works of the Buddha Brunch. Support them there. Well, Stephanie Gray, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for all that you do and thank you for connecting. We're going to have you back at some point with Jenny Han and the three of us will talk about art and collaboration. But for today, thank you so much. Thank you, Ned. It's been it's been a pleasure. It went by really fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Namaste. Namaste.